Hey, Mark. Oh, hi, Will. How you doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? Yeah, very good. Very good. Yes, I've been um, I've been experimenting with using Otter. Dot AI for note taking with meetings. Oh, really? Quite good. Hey, good morning, guys. Hi. Morning, Eric. Good morning. morning. Hello, Priya. Good morning. Hello. I don't know if you guys saw um, the note from. Um, I'm I'm drawing a complete blanket names this morning. Need more coffee. I'm awake. I should be by three o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brett's but, uh, the... Yeah, Brett's note. He wasn't gonna make this meeting. No. But good to hear that he's back in back in action. Um, yeah. Nice to have him back. Yeah, certainly. I mean, I don't know if Madhu will be joining us. I haven't heard from him. No, nor have I. There's Scott joining us. Morning, Scott. Hey, sorry about that. Good morning. Realized I had a second mute button, so we're in good shape now. Yeah, no worries. Uh, well, I'll uh, I'll open it to the floor um, with no agenda. I, I think we all got copied on Brett's note um, about the new co-lead and, and trying to connect this afternoon. So um, if you're able to join for that, great. If you haven't seen that email, let me know and I can forward it to you. Um, in advance of the uh, regular DCF call tomorrow. Um, with that, I'll open it to the floor for anybody with new business. Well, on, on the point about tomorrow's meeting, uh, so is, um, did Brett say you can make 30 minutes of that call or? Yeah, if I recall, it's yeah, the first so, 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen an agenda. I don't know if there is one. I've yeah, I've certainly got no OCP ready presentations to to put forward. Um, um, so I mean, Scott and I could can give an update on where we're at with the new site assessment. Um, so that's one thing. I mean, we could just do an update from all the, the sub projects. Um, I suppose be the minimum that we could uh, <clears throat> that we could have tomorrow. Yeah, I think that would be good. Um, it may be adding a little context to the updates for the sub projects would be, you know, any items that need to be closed up before uh, the end of the year, and then um, any plans in place. Uh, there's a template that's circulated around for. Um, kind of a, a roadmap for 2024 in things that uh, each of the projects and sub projects want to accomplish. And then it's just to share for um, visibility if there's um, any collaboration between certain projects or anything the foundation can do uh, to help in, in any of those objectives um, for, for just very, I would say, high level planning for next year. Um, so we can kind of we can kind of cover that as well. So, are you talking about Bijan's? Uh, he has his for the foundation, um, but uh, him and he and Michael had shared a template to each of the top level projects. So um, the top level projects may have been uh, asking feedback from the sub projects as part of that that larger picture. Right. Okay. It's a very simple, uh, you know, bulleted page from a, a Google Slides or PowerPoint deck. Okay. Could you share that with me? Sure. 
Yeah, yeah. perhaps with with Brett being uh, with Brett being out, um, maybe you know, I would anticipate maybe he hasn't circulated much. No, because <laughs> there's um, I looked at Bijan's. Uh, I, I noticed some some things that are missing from um, the DCF slide. Okay. Things like DC automation um, is one of the sort of things that Mavic, um, yeah, promoting. And I think we're getting, I don't know how far, how close we are to getting that off the ground. Is the charter been completed now? I believe so. Because I couldn't find um, it anywhere. Maybe that's I'll, I'll look for that, and then maybe that's an activity that um, that deck we could we could review that tomorrow as well. Yeah. So there was sort of um, yeah there was there was that um, there was the data center ops health and safety spec, um, which um, was something else that Madhu was talking about, and Google and Meta being involved with leading um i don't know where that's where we are with that have you heard anything more o only that it was an idea but i haven't seen any progress on it no no so that that could be another upcoming work stream that um that wasn't in bijan's slide deck um so i i was thinking that it would be worthwhile for bijan to come along to one of these calls so i've invited him because i think it would be worthwhile for him to sort of yeah understand what we're all sort of discussing so um so we can sort of align <laughs> with what the project what the what people are thinking to do in the project and what yeah bijan knows about um yeah so yeah so yeah, I agree. Um, I think uh, there um, many people are at Supercompute in Denver this week, so I don't know if we'll be able to join for tomorrow. Um, but we can certainly invite them, and uh, if not tomorrow, then um, try and get it as a priority for the December call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be um, that'd be cool. All right. Anything else, Mark, from uh, OCP ready? Other activities? Uh, right. Well, uh, Scott and I are, um, are getting very close to finalizing the assessment, uh, the new assessment. Um, we had some feedback from um, some others, uh, gave some feedback within the industry. So we're incorporating that. Um, one thing I'd like to do, if we can, is uh, circle up with uh, Shashank and see if he's got any additional insight or whatnot, because uh, during the, the summit, um, he had some good feedback and um, was willing to participate. So I know there was some things we need to follow up with him on too as well, so. Yeah, no, good good point, Scott. I, I've not heard um, from either, um, yeah. Yeah, anything from the two meetings we had. Um, yep. But um, I will. Um, I'll give. I'll give Shashank a nudge today, and see. Okay. Um, see what um, what comes uh, what comes from that. <clears throat> but uh, I have... you, we, we yeah we can't. Um, if uh, if there's going to be uh, you know this is yeah we we got the first iteration almost done. Um, if. Um, if yeah, if he's not going to be able to come back quickly, then, then we, we do need to at least start with something. Yeah. <laughs> and then, well, we, I... yeah, we're keen to get, you know, what, well, we're, we're planning on trying to get three of the existing OSP ready data centers recognized for meeting the, the, requir the new requirements by the end of the year. Great. Uh, so we are sort of running out of time. If um, you know, if we left it another month, and we're getting into the Christmas season, <laughs> and it's it's not it's not going to happen. So, um, so yeah, we're, uh, yeah, the foundation is really keen to um, 
you know, to really start using it. So uh, anyway, but I will try and try and, um, try and get to uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, see if he's actually, look, you know, if he's done anything with it and or get some progress within these successful teams. Yeah, yeah it, if you would follow up, the other opportunity might be, Mark, I, I've copied you uh, and uh, you and Steve. Uh, and actually, in, in retrospect, Scott, I should have copied you as well. But um, I guess it's uh, quasi new membership opportunities uh, with Edge Core, mm. Aligned Energy, and um, and the other bit of news is um, Q Scale being nominated for the DCD uh, North American Data Center Award um, in London. Mm. So uh, they are QScale as a, the first Canadian OCP ready data center is going to attend um, that event. So I think that's good visibility for the OCP ready program. Um, but maybe even putting uh, that draft in front of Aligned or Edge Core might also get you some some feedback on potential new participants. Yeah, definitely, um, definitely a good I a good idea. Um, I've I think it. They... I've got a call today with um, with Ian. Oh, Fisher. great! Um, I don't know if you could join Scott. Um, it's in uh, what time is it? It's in yeah. It's top of the yeah top of the hour. Um, Let's see. Yeah, half hour. It might or sorry, half hour duration. Uh, yes. Yeah, that should that should work out. Okay, I will. I will add you to the invite. And out of curiosity, I've done some work with Aligned Energy. Um, we we have some ongoing, but um, I was trying to see who my point of contact is over there and see because it'd be worthwhile to see if we can get them engaged as well. Um, we just so they, they may be keen to get engaged for a couple reasons. Um, Phil Lawson Shanks is their CTO over there. Um, him and I had a couple extensive conversations, um, and they're they're also using um, a product in the market for, and, and this is you know Prio or um, you know we'll have to we'll have to get aligned there, but no pun intended. Mm -hmm. uh, is the uh, energy? Uh, I'm sorry, the carbon labeling work stream mm -hmm. that we're working on getting started um, under the sustainability project. Aligned Energy is using um, a, a product called Origin Mark from a company called Molg, and they're using it throughout their data center on um, equipment and uh, not just not just uh, servers and and racks, but on all sorts of equipment within the facility, uh, trying to get a better understanding of um, all the materials that uh, their data center is composed of and any embedded uh, carbon data mm -hmm. that they can extract from it. So with Aligned already doing that and uh, OCP setting out on this partnership for carbon labeling uh, in conjunction with iMason's Climate Accord, they're already uh, somewhat established to be a potentially a case study or use case of this and to have them as a OCP ready data center on top of that, I think could tell a really great, um, you know, complete story mm -hmm. and we'd have visibility on everything. So um, if, if aligned has been kind of touch and go in the past, I think maybe now would be a good opportunity to, for them to really, really engage with us. Yeah, that's great. Right. Yeah, well done for, you know, pushing that forward as well. Good stuff. Yeah, I think I think that would be great, especially if we can, you know, if it's an OCP ready data center, we can almost get like a benchmark and body carbon output from this evolution. Yeah, great. Right. Yeah, that's that's the lines I was thinking. So um, we have the, the sustainability um, kind of carbon labeling kickoff uh, early next week, and uh, we're hoping to kind of have a, a, a straw man plan in place uh, by the end of the year. So we'd, we'd love to have Aligned engaged. So Mark, if, uh, or Scott, uh, if you have a contact there and we can, you know, I can join or 
um, you know, anybody from the sustainability work stream could join to kind of help show where it's not just the OCP ready program, but also of these other elements we have within OCP that we'd love to, you know, get information and, and then in turn showcase what they're doing. Um, I'd be happy to be involved and support that. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Let me see what I can, um, let's see if I can't uh, get something set up, see what we can do. Yeah. If you wouldn't mind, um, let me know who your contact is, or I can, I'll, I'll copy you on the email I already sent to Mark. Um, and you guys communicating directly with uh, Phil Lawson Shanks, their CTO over there, I think will show, um, you know, the depth of, of the, the value of the project of OCP Ready and the involvement that you guys have, I think will increase its, um, its value to them. So it'd be more likely to get engaged. Yeah, no, that sounds great. My, my point of contact is usually Greg Davitt um, is usually who I end up working with, um, but um, if you already have a point of contact, we can we can start there, and I can um, bring in Greg as needed or as you know as it's advantageous. Okay, great. I'll uh, I'll copy on the email and, and we'll go from there. Perfect. Hey Rob. Um, yeah. There was an sorry, changing topic. If, if that's go okay. ahead. Yes. Please. Yeah, there was an email from Don Mitchell about carbon contents of. Uh, liquid distribution systems within data centers. I'm not sure if he copied you. Yeah, he did copy you. Yeah. Um, I was thinking maybe we could, I can invite him to a session um, at DCP Sustainability and we could just have an open discussion on what he's thinking and what he's proposing. So maybe give him, give him an audience there, if that's okay. I with think that would, yeah, I think that would be great. Um, sorry, I didn't follow up on email. Don and I had a conversation. Oh, excuse me. My dog wants to join the conversation. Don and I had a uh, conversation um, in person last week. Okay, great. And so I, I, I suggested, he, he was, I think he was asking, um, you know, is this of interest? I said, certainly. Um, but I said, instead of the cooling environments audience, uh, we should probably look at the DCF sustainability group. Um, so, Yeah. Okay, I'll just run to him right now and um, get him on the schedule. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah, um, I, I, I couldn't join the call the other day, uh, but you, you're <clears throat> just going, um, uh, just talking about Scaleway and their use of that, um, that uh, dashboard for showing their metrics um and you, <clears throat> and they're using this um this this facebook contributed piece of software um mm -hmm. tools for it um which they then then took on and then developed yeah. it um i've not heard back from them yet i've um then they're not my contact um so i'm gonna be talking to steve helby later and he, he's been sort of you know sort of liaising with them on uh, open source firmware and we're, yeah, we're trying to get them involved with other areas of OCP mm -hmm. projects and uh, yeah I thought this would be a good area. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah Mark yeah thanks for sharing that um, both uh, Rob and I got it just prior to the call and we acknowledge we received it but we hadn't had a chance to investigate it fully yet so um, we could potentially discuss that as well at the next meeting or one of the following meetings. So let me know once you've done a little bit more research into this and yes, let us know your uh, thoughts. It looks interesting. We just haven't had time to absorb it yet. No, no, absolutely. And um, yeah, really, yeah, I think the key thing is for Scaleway to, um, yeah, to talk about it and um, explain how they're using it and what their plans are yeah. for developing it and whether they're, looking to um, yeah provide some guidelines around its use and um, yeah and, and you know maybe put their version on on a git on github and um, and yeah maybe maybe there's um, something that we could um, we could sort mm -hmm. of get adopted more widely so that that's yeah. my, that would be the great goal <laughs> but, we uh, we could invite them to come to a short 
demo preso for us as well. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So um, I will um, I'll continue to work on that and um, yeah, let, let you know if I'm Okay. making any progress. Um, but, Sounds good. yeah. Yeah, let me let us know. And then I have created a meeting topics um, spreadsheet. Um, so feel free to schedule. I'll just share this with you. Um, feel free to add them to that deck uh, at one of the meetings. So. Right. Okay. I'll um. Yeah. I'll um. I'll let you know. Good Okay, sounds good. stuff. Thank you. anything else from uh, DCF sustainability? Yeah, so um, Mark and I talked about this a little at the Global Summit, but uh, we are looking for a new lead. Uh, we have some ideas. We're thinking of approaching um, one of the ladies. Mark, did you get any more direction or had No. any ideas for a lead for data center facility? No, I've not... Um... not progressed it any further. Um, I, I am talking to Michael about this. Um, I've got another call with Michael tomorrow um, to see um, see what, what his thinking is. And um, Okay. yeah, Yeah. but I haven't, um, yeah, I mean, you did, you did put out a, you know, um, a request. So that is, yeah, one that to is. uh, put themselves forward, but did anyone, anyone No, who so, so that is for the labeling work stream that Rob just talked about. I haven't put on a request for the co-lead position for data center facility. ah right okay Yeah. we're sort of waiting to see if there's um, Yeah, I'm looking for direction if I should put out a request or should we just approach someone that we think we would want in that position first? Mm. So, I mean, you mentioned about um, maybe someone from Microsoft to take over from Sean, but uh, Yeah, I think that's um, Eva might be a good candidate. mm. And then Stevelin is the other option that I was thinking about. <clears throat> yeah, I've not I've not worked with either. Um, those ladies although yeah i've spoken to them and they seem great really sort of <laughs> interested in in what we you know what what we're doing within the projects and and, and yeah, getting involved so um but yeah but i yeah i haven't had any personal sort of um Yeah, I think from a yeah from an engagement standpoint, I think Eva might be better. She's she's been a lot more available. I think Stevelin's got a pretty hectic work schedule hmm going on. Um, Okay. Well, let's um, let's chat. I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, give give Michael a nudge um, on this, but I'll um, I'll mention it tomorrow. Um, Okay, sounds good. yeah, I will. yeah. We definitely want to progress this, and um, yeah, just see where he's at with it, and um, and your idea of maybe putting Eva, you know, asking Eva to see if she would like to volunteer. Um, yeah. Okay, Okay, yeah. will do. Thank you. Uh, is Rox Roxtech a member? Um, I think they are, right? I Yes. believe they are a community member. Yes, Yeah. they are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they wouldn't have. Yeah, you're right. Uh Anything we can do to support uh, you, Priya? On the, um, it sounds like you have you have a path with uh, the co-lead position. Um, any progress or any support you need on the um, carbon labeling work stream? Co-lead. Yeah, so 
Yeah, I mentioned it in my meeting, and then I sent out a, a note today. I haven't had any interests from the mm. team. What's your What's your feelings about trying to get um, Rob from Molg involved? From a, um... I think that would be great. Um, okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, they'd be a new member. They don't have a lot of OCP mm -hmm. contacts, and I don't, you know, the, even though they have, <clears throat> they're, they're probably the most experienced in this realm. I didn't want necessarily a single company to have, um, you know, so much. I didn't want to guide it, you know, be have you know my hand on the scale too hard. But yeah, I do think they would be a good candidate. Yeah, I think. You know, folks in DCF, we have a lot going on right now and everybody's involved in the different work streams. So I think people mm -hmm. are cautious about overcommitting as well, which I can understand. So getting someone else involved might be good. And also we add more knowledge and diversity. Yeah. Yeah, I think they have more than an IT perspective, which I think is what we were um, trying to, you know, trying to gain, gain more of that perspective, um, that we have, uh, Alex and Andrea also supporting it. So, um, the other idea I just had was maybe even someone who works on, um, works on this inside aligned data centers. That was what I was thinking, Rob. Both, both yeah. Of them together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The supplier and the other one is the user. I mean, um, right. Yeah, well, you know, made in heaven that relationship. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, maybe that's the that's the route to go. Okay, I will. Here's what, I, unless you have a, another recommendation, I'll toss this out as an option. Is I will send an email um, to both Molg and um, Align, and my contacts there about uh, support taking a leadership position on the work stream, and I will copy. Um, um, Mark, Priya, and Scott. Okay. Um, and then we can all kind of stay on the same page and, and we'll just see what their interest is and say, hey, you know, if you, if you join and get involved, we, you know, there'd be work to do right away. It wouldn't just be a, you know, a membership fee and uh, it would be, you know, there's actually work to do. So we'll see if that piques their interest. I mean, are lines involved with this within the ICA? Yes. They actually started it. Right. It was somewhat their idea. Hmm. So I think, yeah, for the I, whether the I, yeah, the person working in the ICA, whether, yeah, whether they, did they have two, two yeah, dual roles, one, because the thing is, we, we don't want to replicate the, the work, do we? Um, well, what we've for for clarity, we what we've done is is we've basically said that, um, well, not basically, we have said that all the work performed on this initiative will be done within the OCP. There is no progress in the ICA that is duplicated. They they have no framework. They have the attention, um, and and the certain members, but they haven't made any progress. So we've kind of said we'll set the. We'll set the roadmap. We'll be. We'll host the work. You bring the people to us, and we'll we'll go from there. Right, and well, they've agreed to that. That's the opportunity, then, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. The opportunity for a line, you know, who started it, but I've got nowhere to to uh, collaborate and yeah, come here. <laughs> we'll go home for it. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sounds like. A real possibility that we could get aligned as well. Eric, if you're if you're talking, you're still on mute. Or perhaps you've stepped away because we've exceeded time. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, any any closing remarks? I, I have to jump. You guys are welcome to stay. Yeah, I have uh, to jump too. Thanks, Rob. Thanks all. Yeah, thanks everyone. Thank you. Okay, talk to you soon. Yeah, we'll do it. Please, bye.